Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Emperor Star. I'm your host, Emperor Star. Thank you so much for joining me today. I had a message here that I am going to give that I've been intuitively led to give. Um, for people who don't know, I am a reader. I love to read. Reading is a thing for me. And when I went to the library the other day to get um, to get new books, because I had to return my old ones, so usually I just go ahead and try to pick out another one. Um, I'm usually try to be intuitive led where I'm pulled to to read from. And oddly enough, it was um, the Bible this time. And of course, I already have a Bible at home. I am. I, I would say I'm not a practicing Christian, but you know. God has other plans, so I'm not going to fight him or anything. I feel like God would use any, um, I think he would use any resource that he has to, to get a message through to you. So I will always suggest just being open-minded and not so shut off and stuck in your beliefs. And I know for a fact, I probably did a video, probably not up here, I don't know, but about um, not being so stuck in your own belief system to where you're not allowing for things to flow into your life because you're shut off. And it's due to maybe even something subconsciously that you don't even know that you do. Okay, but technically that's a whole other subject. But on today, we're going to be, I am going to read from 1 Samuel chapter 18. And well, this is the chapter that I read. I don't think I really need to read the chapter but what it's talking about is how King Saul uh, and his son were fighting and I want to get that right I think was it the, yeah, the Philistines that was fighting the Philistines and David if you don't know who David is he's very prominent in the Bible and I always love that name oh my god I always love the name David but anyway um, David was the one who was like the king's, I guess, commanding officer, so to speak. So when they went out and they were, they came, when they went out to fight the war, uh, David pretty much won it for them or whatever. And when they came back, you know, the king is the one who's supposed to get all the, the fame and the glory or whatever, whatever. And he was, however, they gave, they didn't, he didn't like what people were saying when they were praising David as well. And Saul, the king came, became very envious of David. He became very jealous of David. And what I, what I'm brought here to say to you today is like, no matter what your status is in life, someone can be so high above you and still be jealous of you or envious of the little that you have or the little that you do get. Because some people are just so selfish to the point where they want it all. And I want you to understand that when you find yourself in situations and if you are a chosen one and you're listening to this and this is something that's piquing your interest, understand that either you have been through this or more you may have to go through this. And I want you to understand is that people don't necessarily think too much about you in a sense where it's always self-motivated. It's always driven from inside of them and insecurity that they have which is in turn is really not your problem and i want you to understand that you don't have to take on someone else's issues or problems simply because they have a problem with you or what you're receiving or anything of that nature you don't have to do that you have to understand that sometimes people will project on you meaning they will send negative energy your way because they feel as though that they're not getting something that they feel like they deserve or they feel like you don't deserve what you're receiving and let's just be honest nobody's anybody's judge here even though as humans we're going to judge people i judge people if you're saying you don't judge people you're being i'm not i don't want to call nobody a liar but 
Come on now. At some point in your life, you judge someone and it's okay, but you have to judge people because you also have to use discernment. That's what discernment is. Understanding, it, using your intuition to understand and differentiate from what's wrong and what's right or what's good or what's bad for you. And in doing that, you have to judge someone. Okay. Let's just be honest. So like I said, this, this doesn't just being you is enough. You just being you, you waking up every day, minding your own business, doing, drinking your water, and just being thankful that God gave you another day is enough for somebody to feel some type of way against you. Understand that it does not have to be anything that you have done in particular, or it doesn't have to be anything that you've said. Sometimes it's just the, excuse me, sometimes it's just the the anointing or the the favor that people see over your life and they don't understand why they feel the way that they feel about you they just know that they feel some type of way i want you to understand that that again doesn't really have anything necessarily to do with you it has everything to do with them seeing in you what they feel like they lack or they want and even when saul saw and it was said, Saul has slain his thousands and David his ten thousands. And all they said was that David killed more people than Saul, which is probably true because he's the king. David is Saul isn't going to have to do as much as David. So, of course, if you're in the field and you're getting to it, you're going to be the one who gets who probably ends up doing more. And it's a it's a tale oldest time when you have a situation where the hardest worker usually gets the less uh praise and usually that's how it works and in this situation saul wanted to have all the praise even though david did just as much as he did so i want those are the dogs i'm sorry so i just want you to understand that sometimes you just have to be you and understanding that if you're comfortable with you and you know that you're not doing anything to anyone, understand that sometimes the favor on your life alone is enough for people to feel some type of way towards you. And that is not your problem. Understand that you release those people in love and light and just let them go on their way. Okay? But thank you for joining me. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I hope that you are able to receive some type of message for yourself in this that helps point you in the right direction on where you need to go. All right? Peace.